I do a, a number of different things and one of them is on this thing called 5G. But what we're trying to do is we're, we're trying to improve the business landscape. We're trying to improve the economic landscape and the industrial landscape. You know, the planet is a limited resource pool and energy is obviously very limited. If we keep building 4G networks, we double the carbon footprint of the whole planet. And if we use 5G, it stays about the same and then it starts to drop. You deploy 5G and it's greener. I'm the CTO of the carrier business group, yes? And that's not the measure of success. A measure of success, I think, is when I meet a customer that I haven't seen for maybe two years. He said, Paul, can't you remember? Two years ago we had a discussion. I just took notes of what you told me to do. And I just did them. I feel great because my success is his success. I didn't start playing music until I was about uh, 20 or 21 maybe, yes? Then I came to China. I found a group of people that we had this connection. You have no idea, but I, I was very shy. In fact, Huawei gave me the opportunity to stand on the stage in front of 5,000 and 8,000 people many times. And in a lot of the other meetings and opening ceremonies, they would allow me and my, my band to come on stage and perform. They somehow allowed all these unusual things to come together. And what I can say now is I'm a much better musician. And it all needs to be connected. And I love health and education and science and technology. So I'm always thinking, how do I bridge the gap of these things? And that's something that personally interests me, how to help humanity, how to do something in a different way. That's why I come back to the business models of, say, 5G. How did I develop them when I talk to governments, when I talk to media? If we could connect everything, we can make it possible for the future.